How's it going? Welcome back, my beautiful sinners, to another great and amazing video with your boy, the Savior. That's right, welcome back to the channel. That's right, it's great to be back, my sinners. If you're new to the channel, which is highly likely, go down below and subscribe for fresh and crazy content that you will not find anywhere else on this goddamn planet. Okay, so go down below and subscribe. Do yourself a favor, become a sinner today and join this fantastic community, get extra content by becoming a member and get shout outs for your channel and support me by checking out my music on all music platforms. Thank you very much. You will not be disappointed. <laughs> Today, my sinners, I have something very special for you. That's right, we are literally living in the future where nothing makes any sense anymore. That's right, a fantastic time to be alive. Now today, I'm going to be talking about NFTs. NFTs, that's right, non-fundable token. Non-fungible, non-fungible, non-fundable. NFTs, the new hot cryptocurrency that everyone seems to love, okay? Now, it's been a while since I talked about NFTs, okay? I made a NFT video a few months ago when it first just started being hot news and it basically was just being created and founded then okay so it really is something very new nfts since then have become very very weird nfts are insane nfts are crazy nfts are just out of this world wild okay we are living in times of madness okay so i really want to discuss how insane nfts really are these non-fungible tokens okay, get to the point so my sinners, if you're not aware, NFTs, okay, are basically digital art that can be sold and bought by pretty much anyone, okay, they are, you know, NFTs, they're non-fungible tokens, okay, and basically it's just digital art, a receipt of digital art, okay, pretty much when you buy an NFT, okay, you own the receipt, proving to people that you did actually buy this NFT, this non-fungible token, okay, and it's just completely crazy, okay, what's happening with cryptocurrency and mining and cryptocurrency mining. Cryptocurrency and the stock market, okay, are now basically like two separate entities, okay, and they're just going off on their own direction. Pretty much a new cryptocurrency is being made all the time. But with the stock market, with stock trading and investing, okay, you know, it has to be already established businesses, but pretty much anyone can just mine and create a new cryptocurrency, and it's pretty crazy. Now, since NFTs were first created, okay, no one is actually using NFTs how they should be used, okay, which is helping digital, which is helping artists, people who make, you know, really good quality digital art, because there are some amazing digital artists out there, you know, that could be music, music producers, that could be people, you know, who are doing 3D graphic design and 3D animating. Sadly, NFTs are being completely misused and are basically just a way for millionaires and crazy rich people to basically, you know, do some pretty dodgy stuff. I can't say for sure that what they're doing is actually illegal, but there's some pretty dodgy behavior when you look at the amounts of money that are being traded when it comes to NFTs. And it's just so insane because most of the time, you know, like these crypto punks, I'm going to show you an example in a second. You know, these digital arts, the digital art, these NFTs that are being sold aren't even good. They are just terrible pixel art that look like absolute dog crap, okay? And they are being sold for millions and millions and millions of dollars, you know, $600,000, it's just absolutely insane because, you know, this isn't obviously, you know, helping an artist, this is just people who are creating, you know, crappy digital art like you can find on Fiverr for like five bucks or someone can just create in MS Paint. A blind man with Parkinson's can probably create a better, more appealing digital art that can be used as an NFT than the goddamn actual real digital art NFTs themselves because they just look so so bad okay so it's not actually about helping artists like it should have been it's actually all about these millionaires and billionaires and these super rich people who are just using this as a new type of trading that is not regulated that has no boundaries to it whatsoever so it's just a way 
for you know scumbags to basically do some very dodgy behavior and shift around a lot of money and who knows where this money is coming from it's not actually about helping artists i don't care what you do with your money but the principle has completely just gone by the wayside and it's not about artists anymore because if you look at the digital art if you look at these nfts they're just so bad it's just completely laughable and it's just such a joke okay but the real problem with these nfts and why nfts are insane and why Cryptocurrency is just insane now, okay, and I talked about that before, how regulation does need to come in somewhat, but it is also very great how we have all of these different cryptocurrencies and we have all of these opportunities for financial freedom that aren't being regulated by governments and massive corporations, but still, they are basically being manipulated by the highest and most influential people, the people with the most amount of money and the most amount of influence, and people like Logan Paul, for example, are basically inflating the market you know kind of like we are seeing with dogecoin and elon musk you know people who are carelessly using their influence to basically give these nfts and these cryptocurrencies false values and then basically a lot of people will lose out on real money but i'm going to show you an example of these cryptocurrencies and this and these and these NFTs, okay, and you tell me if you think that these are worth millions and millions of dollars because it's just insane now. You know, there are people out there who are, <laughs> you know, it's not funny, but it's just crazy, you know, who are working day in, day out just to make, you know, ends meet. And then you just get the super rich 1% elite class, okay, of people who are just sitting on their ass and just trading, you know, digital, terrible, crappy art that you can just find from a dumpster file and you know just you know basically creating a whole new ecosystem of wealth because only if your nfts with the most value depending on who's selling them is what gets traded okay so if you're an actual artist and you make something really good that's not going to get picked up on that's not going to get noticed because no one is selling nfts for the sake of art it's all about money so it doesn't matter if you actually make something good it's all about the person who's buying it and selling it so it's not anything to do with actual digital art, which is what the whole point of NFTs were to begin with. So the normal people who want to, you know, sell and trade their art are completely, you know, just blocked by this, you know, super 1% rich elite who are just using it to trade and, you know, basically shift around unregulated money. And it's just so crazy to me. I mean, it's so cool, but it's so crazy that this is the kind of world that we live in. You know, money is now just an illusion you know it always was an illusion you could just print you know massive amounts of it and of course that would just cause inflation but now you know digital money and digital art and these cryptocurrencies comparing that to the stock market it's even more up in the air it, you know it's fagoozy it's wahoozy as they say in wolf of wall street okay so i'm gonna show you a few examples my sinners <laughs> Ooh, it just makes me go yahoo but my sinners you may be saying savior why does it matter you know these rich people can trade massive amounts of money, but it actually, Sunny Jim, it does matter because what do you think these people are using their money for? These massive billionaires and millionaires, okay? They have their grubby little hands in everything. Money changes the world, so it's very important to keep an eye on where massive amounts of money is coming from and, you know, where it's being traded and shifted. Anyone can just go onto a picture online and just save it to their computer, okay? You know, that's free. That doesn't cost you millions and millions of dollars. So this whole new ecosystem, you know, it doesn't even stop copyright. It doesn't even stop ownership. This is just a new way to basically have no limits on money. And that can be very dangerous depending on the person who is, you know, shifting the money around, especially when it's not being watched by anyone. And I don't believe in government control. I hate that, okay? But we do need to be careful because, you know, money, massive amounts of money that is just being, massive amounts of money that is just being traded for, you know, nefarious reasons should always be watched. Okay, my sinners, so this is the part of the video where I show you some of this amazing digital art and cryptocurrencies and NFTs that are being traded. You know, forget the stock market, forget investing and trading, okay, because wow look at this art it's so incredible look at this i mean when you see this you would just think oh you're just browsing some you know shit post on reddit or something like that you wouldn't think that you're actually looking at art that is worth millions and millions and millions of dollars okay that is just insane and i understand that you know art is subjective i understand 
get groovy with it. <laughs> it's the future. <laughs> the world is decaying and we are all going to die. <laughs> In a hundred years, global warming will take over the earth. <laughs> there won't be any nature left. <laughs> Fossil fuels will be extinct. <laughs> Humanity will have to be decreased. <laughs> But it's okay because we can just keep on mining and selling crappy digital art for millionaires. <laughs> so the problem is, my sinners, is this may look harmless, okay? But actually, did you know that cryptocurrency, okay, and especially NFTs are so environmentally costing? <laughs> NFTs, okay, leave a massive carbon footprint, and I'm talking massive, okay, comparing it to some small countries, okay, you know, the massive amounts of energy that is being used to mine, you know, to host and to trade all of this stuff, you know, these blockchains and stuff like that, you know, mining and these NFTs and all of these cryptocurrencies, but especially NFTs, it is so environmentally costing, it's absolutely insane, you know, People don't take global warming seriously, and I was one of them, okay, I didn't believe in it. But actually, if you look into the science, you will see that in a hundred years, we are basically going to enter an apocalypse, okay? And this stuff is not helping, okay? We are never going to change the world if this kind of stuff is the kind of garbage that the humanity, that humanity is producing, because this is literally destroying the planet and destroying the future of humanity. You know, so actually, it's like a super serious issue. It's just goddamn insane. No one is talking about it. No one is realizing how crazy this is. And just look at this absolute trash. I mean, you know, I could set up a Fiverr account, okay? In fact, I did once. <laughs> um, and, you know, I could just, you know, bash these out, you know, one hand while just checking, you know, uh, completely blindfolded. Because just look at them. They are absolutely tacky and terrible, and the absolute total value of these NFTs, you know, these CryptoPunks NFTs, for example, <laughs> I mean, look at that, look at that, that's absolutely insane, okay, you know, that this one is worth 7.58 million dollars, I mean, just imagine seven point five eight million dollars and using that to you know I don't know build better schools to you know help people to educate humanity to actually do something useful and good to have clean water or whatever but no you know these one percent millionaires are trading these absolutely terrible tacky artwork for millions and millions and millions of dollars okay and, you know, you can't tell me that this is art, okay? Yeah, maybe it's kind of artistic, maybe it's kind of cool, but it's something that you would get, you know, free with a goddamn Happy Meal or something, you know, like a goddamn sticker or something. I mean, Jesus Christ, people, this is the world that we are living in. It's just absolutely insane. I just wanted to talk about it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, my sinners. This is just absolute madness. I mean, just look at this. Do, do <laughs> I mean, this, I, this is where I want all of my money, you know, I, I, I don't need to uh, buy a house, I don't need an apartment, I don't need a roof over my head because I am saving up all of my money so I can, you know, use it for tacky artwork. I mean, NFTs, they could have been great, they could have been amazing. <laughs> NFTs could have been used, NFTs could have been used for so many great purposes and really help, you know, everyone a whole new cryptocurrency a whole new way of trading and help artists but actually it's literally killing the future of humanity it's literally destroying the earth and it's literally only being traded by these top millionaires and people who have an audience who are abusing their audience and abusing their power and influence to make money it's just absolutely crazy you know nfts are insane NFTs are dangerous, okay? NFTs are bad, and I'm 100% sure about that now. You know, comparing this to the stock market, it doesn't even compare anymore. It's just absolutely insane. So, there you go, my sinners. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash like, share this video around, okay? That would really help transfer the message. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.